There's this one piece of clothing that's essential in every man's wardrobe for the fall and winter. And I can't believe we haven't spoken about it before, but here we are. So let's not waste any time so that I can show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Intro. Yo, what up? My name is Vladimir Richet from ChaseAndRider.com and in today's video, we're going to talk about the fall and winter essentials part two. A couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago, I did a video, the fall and winter essentials part one. This one is the second iteration of this series. But what we're going to talk about today is something that I'm very, very excited about because no wardrobe is complete without one of those. Well, without at least one of those. You need a couple, but every man should have at least one. So as you guys know, I talk about flannel trousers a lot and I've had guys ask me, what's the jacket equivalent to flannel trousers? Because flannel trousers to me are invaluable. Definitely something that every man need in their wardrobe. If you live in a climate that dips under let's say 60 degrees so that's exactly what we're going to talk about today without further ado man let's get to it so without a shadow of a doubt the one sport coat that every man should have in their wardrobe for the fall and winter is a tweed sport coat now what makes tweed so special you're wondering number one is the combination of colors that you're going to get with tweed they don't always come in all these multi colors you can even find like a navy tweed you know which would suit you pretty well in the fall and winter if you just want to wear just a navy sport coat with some gray trousers but what makes tweed really special is when you start seeing all these different color combinations that you would only find in this kind of material. Now tweed is a kind of wool, but it's a very resistant wool. Some people even say that tweed is waterproof, but tweed is just a very tough fabric and it's perfect for the fall and winter. It's one of these fabrics that wears pretty hard. Now, if you look at it, you can tell that this is not something that's going to be too delicate to wear. You can definitely beat this kind of jacket up. You can't really go wrong with tweed. And this particular one is from Spee and McKay. I do feel like Spee and McKay probably had the best collection of tweed jackets for this fall and winter season. They have a few of them. They have at least four or five different tweed jackets. This is just one of them. This is probably the heaviest one that they have. As you can see, this is a houndstooth fabric and Spee and McKay calls it a black and red houndstooth. But this is a excellent fabric and an excellent design and um this is my first spear and mckay sport coat that actually has a ticket pocket so as you can see here this jacket comes with patch pockets uh, but also has a small ticket pocket inside of the patch pocket which is a really nice touch as you guys know if you don't know already the style that i always go for from spear and mckay is the Neapolitan cut and um, what makes the Neapolitan cut so special um, number one is the size of the lapels as you can see these have really wide notch lapels it also has nice open quarters which is very flattering the quarters is the part underneath the button point I spoke about it in a couple videos before um, if you haven't seen those videos I'll link to them up here I'll also include them in the description I go more in depth about the Neapolitan cut this particular fabric is from Abraham Moon as you can see on the label here. Abraham Moon is an English mill that's been around since 1837. So you know you're getting quality fabric. Now, one thing about tweed is a lot of younger guys look at them because of the way that the pattern on most of the jackets are, they belong on like somebody older. I don't really subscribe to that notion. I think the thing is nice, the thing is nice. And this is obviously nice, you know what I'm saying? So I really wouldn't worry too much about that. I never really feel like an old man when I'm wearing my clothes. So I don't really let that get to me, but that is something that's associated with tweed. But I really wanted to show you guys this. I think this is probably the coolest piece that I have in my closet right now, as far as sport coats are concerned. This particular jacket retails for $448. Like I was saying, Spear and McKay has a really nice collection of sport coats this year. Well, they always do really, but I feel like 2020, they really knocked it out the park. And to me, this is one of the best ones that they currently have. This one is probably one of the heaviest that they have also. This one is 470 grams. Eventually, I wanna get more from this collection since once again, I do like all the ones that they came out with this year, but this one was my favorite one. Now, if you're wondering what kind of trousers that I would wear this with, this is a very versatile piece. Uh, it's a brown sport coat, so you can definitely wear it with brown trousers, whether in flannel, or in corduroy if you're trying to go for like a kind of a matching look 
or you can wear with any kind of gray trousers really this would go with whether it's medium gray light gray charcoal once again this retails for 448 dollars if you've never used pay and McKay before i do have a 20 percent code that i'm going to include in the description so you can definitely put it towards that but if you already used them before you can't use the code but at 448 dollars that's still a really really good price for this because the competition that uses the same fabrics from abraham moon that spear and mercury uses will sell this for about 900 dollars man so at 448 dollars that's still a really excellent price for this jacket so this is the first piece that i wanted to show you today for the fall and winter essentials let's get to piece number two the second fall and winter essentials that i want to show you today is another versatile piece now one thing about this series that i'm doing i want to show you a bunch of pieces that you can wear in all types of different situations that way you can get a lot of mileage out of them so let's take a look so as you can see this is from drake's and this is just a piece of paper that talks about if I wanted to return or exchange it. I'm very excited to see this. I've been wearing this one for a long time. And there it goes, man. So if you can't tell what this is yet, this is a sleeveless cardigan in navy. And this is a beautiful fabric. So this is a lamb's wool fabric. If you're not familiar, I've spoken about Drake's on this channel before. Um, I have some scarves from Drake's. 90% of my pocket squares are also from Drake's. I've never actually went in depth about them, but Drake's is one of these brands that's been around for a very long time. They're from England, um, but they also have a brick and mortar store in Manhattan. And this is their lambs wool sleeveless cardigan you can dress it up and use it like a vest if you're wearing a suit or you can dress it down and just wear it with a button-up shirt and you can even wear it with flannel trousers or you can just wear it with denim you know what i mean i just feel like it's that versatile my favorite part about the the vest is the big horn buttons that you see here plenty of different companies make sleeveless cardigans but they don't really look like this one i feel like this one is definitely above the rest as far as the styling and not to mention mention once again this is lamb's wool which is a very nice fabric it's kind of a heavy fabric for the fall and winter but this is a sleeveless cardigan so this can only keep you so warm so that's why i recommend it as more of a layering piece but this is a very very nice um nice vest they do retail for around 350 dollars which i felt that was a little bit high for what i wanted to spend um but the great news is drake's has their archive sale a couple times a year so i was able to snag this up for around 150 dollars which i feel like it's a really good price for it not to say it's not worth the 350 or uh, 395 i forgot exactly how much they charge regular price but for me personally i didn't want to spend that kind of money on just something that i was going to use just to layer up although i really do like this piece but i'm very glad that i got it i do want other colors as well like more colorful colors green yellow some red now i do feel like a sleeveless cardigan is one of these pieces that you can wear all the time either under your suit jacket or under your sport coat it's definitely one of the fall and winter essentials and i'm very glad that i got it and um i can't wait to wear it man now let's get to the next one the last fall and winter essentials that we're going to talk about in this video is something that i'm very excited about it should have had its own video but what the hell man i just wrote it all into this one you know what i mean and as you can see this is a shoe box from yield if you guys are familiar with this channel you should be very familiar with this box this is my third year style box that i've shown you on this channel and um i can't wait to show you what's inside of it man but before we get to it year style shoes well why by year style which is the official name of the shoe line come in a brown shoe box it's a drawer style shoe box one thing that's different compared to the previous two boxes that i got is the boxes are bigger now so i did reach out to yield style to see if that was a one-off thing and uh, they did confirm that they do make the boxes bigger now so take that for what it's worth but enough talking let's take a look at what i got So as you can see, the Yosa shoes come in like a velvety brown shoe bags. I've been 
by now you guys know that split toe derby is all my favorite shoes man and what says fall and winter more than dark brown suede you know so this is my first pair of split toe derby in suede the very first unboxing that I've ever done on this channel was a pair of dark brown suede double monk straps from Carmina. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it somewhere up here. I'll also include it in the description. And I've unboxed some other suede shoes after that. Um, so I really do love suede shoes and I really love split toes. So it's kind of surprising that it took me that long to actually get one in suede. So this is pretty much like the best combination for me as far as what I like. These shoes couldn't be any better, man. I'm so excited about these shoes. So as you can see, this is the same exact last as my black grain Spito Derby from Yilsau that I unboxed a couple weeks ago. And um, the YRB is a round last. Typically with my Spito Derbies, I like them better in a round the last and I do in a square last. Although in the future, I will try a square one um, just to have more variety but the YLB last does fit me really really well so I didn't really want to deviate from that as you can see they come with lasted shoe trees which is great this is a dark brown suede but it's not the darkest dark brown suede that you can have it's like one notch below your darkest dark brown suede now as far as what i chose for these shoes i chose the same exact option as my other split toe derbies i got the vibram insert along with the metal toe taps and I have a flat waist on this one. But you can see it's still a really narrow, very narrow waist on this. One thing about Yield Style shoes, if you're not familiar, they're all hand welted and they retail for around $650. These shoes are so nice to me, man. Like this is the last one, I think, <laughs> for the fall and winter. This is my fourth split to derby in the past six months. All right, so I'm like that. And this is probably my favorite one out of all of them, man. Only because I'm a suede head. Like I really love suede shoes. This is a great marriage between my favorite style of shoes and my favorite type of leather. Now, one difference with split toe derbies on suede versus leather is because of the way that suede is, you can't really see the split as good as you can see it on leather. So I don't know if you can actually see it on here. Like the split is very subtle but on leather you can see it a lot better you know what i mean so even though it's there um you don't really see it that good so let me show it to you here as you can see it's not as obvious as you see it on my grain leathers um but that doesn't bother me at all man this is just what it is you know what i mean so this is the perfect shoe for the fall and winter now how do i plan on wearing these with everything man <laughs> so this will be one with corduroy there'll be one with flannel trousers um there'll be one with denim can't wait to start wearing these man these are incredible incredible shoes man so let me know in the comments how do you feel about the falling winter essentials part two which one is your favorite how would you wear them and then um yeah i'm looking forward to hearing what you think about these man so hit the thumbs up if you like this video subscribe or everybody gonna think that you're a hater and i'll catch you on the next video peace